about it. So doing a few laps in um, ACC just ahead of my uh, league race that'll be coming up. Um, I'm on it. And I've been messing around with my audio settings as well. Um, so download this uh, Steel Series uh, surround sound. So don't know what that's going to sound like. And as usual, just for a bit of like practice, a bit of, bit of tunage in the background. And taking the uh, McLaren or even the Mercedes for the next uh, season on the Amigos GT3 League, but um, I think I'll stick with the old trusty and reliable. Yeah, I'm just so used to it, the Audi, that um, yeah, I think to. Bow, but it'd be a silly move. Yeah, the sound on that uh, Steel Series surround sound is uh, quite impressive. Gone by the wall and stuff, I can definitely hear it. The problem I had, I had the, the Steel Series headset on um, chat setting, and I used to run it in high res uh, because I have the Arctis Pro with the game deck. Um, but the last couple of days I've just been messing around like with surround sound settings, so you give up some of the high res sound, but um, the immerse that it creates is uh, off the chart, and like I say, I reinstalled the uh, Steel Series engine with the new Sonar software they use, um, and put it onto the virtual um, Sonar thingy, uh, put it into game mode instead of chat mode, and yeah, the sound is uh, absolutely incredible. So yeah, more than happy. The funny thing is, I have this headset like maybe over a year, and you just run it in high, uh, high, high res mode all this time. Um, and lately, I thought the sound was sounding a bit flat. And I actually went out and picked up a set of uh, Corsair headset uh, headphones to go with the rest of my Corsair kind of PC builds. Um, and they sounded okay. Um, and then I thought, well, before I make my final decision, um, I'll mess around with the the Steel Series, uh, you know, software. It's something I've never done really, and uh, yeah, I mean, amazing the power of some equalizer settings and what I can do. Really impressive. the Audi man, it's so predictable, well for me at least, I just know what it's going to do. Uh, track limits. Uh, too hot. Yeah, the car feels great, really good setup on this. Bit of a messy lap. Yeah, very impressed. Um, yeah, it's a comfortable car for me, like, um, is the Audi. Feels familiar, feels predictable, and I think that's something that um, 
in ACC, like people say, oh, like, what, you know, what's the best car? And I don't think there is a best car, to be honest. Like, I've, I've competed and won races in every car you can think of on the game. Like, um, I drove the Lambo before this. I drove the McLaren before that. Um, I was in the Ferrari for a while as well. Um, never really went into front wheel or sorry front engine cars for some reason. Um, just, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're very very easy to drive. But um, just when you get to the the very limit, just how they behave just didn't make sense to me. I know um, the mid engine cars do though. Great car, great track, great tunes. I better credit the song actually before YouTube have a fit. It's a uh, Tiesto Search of Sunrise 5. Uh, Arise is the tune. Shouldn't be a problem. I don't monetize my videos anyway, so I do this as a hobby. So, um, yeah, it should be no issue. Fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, we leave it there, guys. This was just really a test for it. The new, well, not the new headset. I have this ages, like I say, but just mess around with the software. Hopefully, this sounds good. And uh, just a bit of practice um, ahead of my uh, league race that will be coming up in a couple of days. I might start streaming them. Or, uh, no, probably I won't. I'll just probably upload them after they take place. But, um, yeah, most likely I'll be going with the uh, Aura Evo 2 again. Um, like I say, it's familiar. Um, I mean, the last race at Sanford, uh, the, the, I mean, that was the final race of the season, and man, some of the some of the tail slides I caught coming down, you know, down the hill onto the right-hander, the thing was like fully sideways. <laughs> Actually, just before I wrap this video up, let's have a look at uh, said slides, in fact. Just quit out of this for a second. Um, and you know, like I say, when it comes to out and out speed, winning races and stuff, I don't think there is a, a best car. But um, in terms of what car you're comfortable with, um, I do think there's there's definitely a car that you can be most comfortable with. Um, yeah, so this was the race, um, the last race of the Amigos GT3 season, um, which I went on to win, actually. Um, it's great, very competitive league. Um, let me just find the bottom of that hill. Um, there's a few like wicked slides that I managed to catch. I think getting into like lap four maybe. Where are we? There we go. Sideways. Yeah, so that's what I mean when and the next lap as well, another one look. And three laps in a row, was it? No. I think I stopped messing at that stage. Um, but yeah, it just kind of, you know, the, the whole idea is that when you when you choose a car, like I mean, it's wherever you're comfortable. With. There, I don't I don't think there is a, a best car. Um, in fact, like this race, I pulled out a small bit of a gap, but the guy in second place, um, he's sticking, you know, right with me, very good driver, and he's in the uh, he's in the M4. So, yeah, there is no best car. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Um, and yeah, I'll probably start uploading stuff when you get to the the new season, which is an eight rounder, and it starts on uh, Monday. Shot then.